Hi and welcome back to my channel. So now I'm going to show you how you can draw letters using the basic strokes that we just went over in the previous video. If you haven't seen that one, I will link it up here for you as well as in the description box. So I have my basic strokes sheet right here that I will use for reference. And if you did not watch the last video, I am using the Bien Fang Graphics 360 marker paper, 16 pound, 60 GSM, I am using the Crayola Super Tips. As well as this practice sheet. And I'll put the marker paper on top and the lettering sheet underneath is just reference. All of the letters that I will be showing you how to draw are lowercase. I will be showing you the letter A, the letter B, the letter D, the letter G, the letter H, the letter M, and the letter Q. The letter A can be comprised of two to three different strokes. So I'll do the two strokes first and then the three. So for two strokes, it is the oval and the U. So we'll start with our oval. And if you add that with the U, you get This A that I just drew here, I kind of drew it how I draw my A's. So I'm gonna do it again, but with the oval and then the U stroke. Again, you can keep keep drawing it until you get one that you like. Now this just feels weird to me because this is, isn't how I naturally draw my A's. So it looks and feels a little bit forced, 
but to show the basic strokes, that's why I'm doing it like that. So now I'm going to do the A with three strokes, which is the curved up stroke, the oval, and then the U. So it's this A, but with a curved up stroke on the left side of the A. So since I already have the strokes here. I'm just going to show the curved up stroke and then just draw the letter. So there's that. And when you add this with these two strokes, you get And like I said, I keep trying to go to how I do my A's now, but I will try it again. So with the lowercase b, it's basically two strokes for me. Um, it could be expounded upon if you, you know, want to get really fancy with your letters. But it is essentially just a downstroke. And an oval or slanted oval or petal shape. Or it could also be a loop and an oval or petal shape. So we have the downstroke plus. It's an oval, but it's like a reverse oval. With the B, you draw the oval in a clockwise manner, as opposed to the oval, you draw it in a counterclockwise way. So just keep that in mind. It's basically a reverse oval. Or more so like a petal shape. But from the base, come up and on a downstroke, and then just meet that bottom part, which gives you downstroke. And starting from that base of the downstroke, you come up, over, down, and meet that base. So another way you can draw a B is with the loop and the this petal shape. So B half at the halfway point, make a loop and bring it down. And then again, just draw this little draw this little petal shape from the base of the B and just meet it at the bottom. I meant to show you the strokes separately, so I'll draw them now. So if you combine this stroke with that stroke, you get that B right there. Another way you can draw a B is essentially this loop, but you're going to start it from the baseline 
bring it out, up, over, and down. And then add this petal shape, which would give you something like that. And then the last one that I will show is a downstroke and this petal shape, but I'm giving it a little bit of flare at the end. So it would be just a basic downstroke, but I'm actually going to slant mine. And so downstroke plus again, the petal shape but we're gonna loop and do a little something like that, which gives you downstroke, petal shape, flare. The next letter is a D, which is a B, but flipped. So again, it's a oval shape plus a downstroke. So we do our oval plus our downstroke. That gives us a D. And the first letter that I draw for each letter is a, you know, a basic generic letter. And like I said, you can change it. You can use certain strokes to then make the letter a little bit more fancy. Another D that you could draw, again, it would be the oval plus this loop from the B. which would give you and this final D that I will draw is a little bit fancier but again it is the oval shape plus it's essentially this loop, but it's a little bit fancier on the exit. Which would give you So it's essentially this letter here, but it's just a little bit fancier because of the different stroke that we added onto our oval. The next letter is a G. And with the G, it consists of the oval as well as the J loop. That's what I'm gonna call it a J loop so the oval plus the J loop gives us a 
And see, here's what I was talking about in the basic strokes video. When you're creating certain letters with this oval, that next stroke can kind of hide this weird little nub that sometimes occurs on your letters. So it'll kind of be concealed once you make that downstroke. And again, you can make these letters as fancy or as simple as you want. They can have different shapes. They can be, you know, more squashed, you know, flattened like a hamburger or tall like a skyscraper. It really just depends on your style and the look that you're going for. You just have to practice it. So I'll do one more G, but again, it consists of the oval. Plus that same J loop. But this time I'm gonna bring it up higher on the exit, which gives The next letter that I'll be going over is the H, which it is similar to the B and the D with the downstroke, the loop, and then that oval petal shape. Well, not for the H. The H doesn't have that oval petal shape. The H has the upside down U, weird in shape. Or it could also have the compound one, which is the upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. So I will show that now. So it consists of the downstroke plus the upside down U, which again gives you a basic looking letter, which is, which is fine. Another way you can draw H would be with the loop. Again, plus the upside down U, which would give you another way you can draw the H would be with the, I call it a fancy loop. It starts at the baseline, goes up and around and back down. Again, that upside down U, which gives you that. And then the last one would be with the compound shape. And again, you can add any downstroke with any type of other stroke to get your H. You can do the downstroke with the, the N. You can do the loop with the compound one. It, it really is just up to you and how you want it to look. So I'm gonna do the fancy loop plus the compound one, which would give you
you know, as you can see, that's beginning to look fancier than where we started from. That is the point of the art of drawing letters. You can make them look basic. I don't like using the word basic, but basic to a more upscale or more flowy type of letter just based off the strokes that you combine together to create these letters. So with the M, this letter is comprised of downstroke and the upside down U, or you can also do a downstroke, the upside down U, as well as the compound stroke. So we have the downstroke plus the upside down U plus the upside down U, which would give Or you can also do, again, the downstroke plus the upside down U along with the compound stroke, which is the up, down, and up, which would give The next letter I'm going to show you is the letter Q, which is comprised of the oval stroke as well as the right facing loop, right facing descender loop, I guess I can call it. I am going to like find the actual names for these strokes so that I can either put them in the video somewhere listed or in the description. So we have our oval plus the right facing descender loop, which would give you oval and right descender loop. Another way that you can draw a Q would be again with the oval plus the descender loop. But when you get to the middle point, you just bring that up, kind of like an F. So it's an oval plus the descender plus an extra upstroke, which would give you Okay, and one more way that you can draw a Q again is with the oval plus it's this loop here, but it's fancier. So down, around, and once you meet here at the center point of the descender, you go through it and make a small loop and come back up. which will give you
So there, you know, you have a pretty fancy cue from where we started. So here are all the letters that we went over using the basic strokes as well as some more fancy strokes. If you would like to see a video on more of the fancy style letters, Please let me know down in the comments and I will make a video for you. And also if there's anything else that you want to see, again just let me know down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.